Hi gang, welcome to CTS 1110 or operating system. Now in this class we'll deal with Windows 10. How to configure and manage a Windows 10 client system. Now here's the front end of the course in Blackboard and once you've gotten into this you'll see on the left here's your dashboard that's the interface we see here. You'll see tasks over here of what's due now it's not the only place you'll also see in MindTap due dates. I've got a schedule early on that tells you what's due and when it's due for the entire course. I'll point to that in a second. The syllabus will take you to my home page and list every syllabus, every course that I'm teaching. Course mail is a great way to reach out to not only me but other students. You can click that, indicate who you want to send a message to, select them, migrate that name over, Write the message, send it, and it'll pop up in here if you've received a message. Check your grades, you can get online tutoring, and then here you can check the discussion boards if this is an online or a hybrid course. I teach not just face-to-face, -face, but also online and hybrid. Online and hybrid courses require discussions for that time that you're not in a face-to-face -face environment. So let's go look at this course content units. We've got a clear and concise, it's broken down. Now, the easiest way to get a hold of me is over here in Course Mail. I don't use this virtual office as much. General Discussions is a great way for you to get a hold of other students and have a group discussion about some topic that is not a graded discussion. It could be an activity that is a graded activity or something. Hey, how did you deal with this? Or did you have problems with that? Great way to reach out to others in the group. Down here in Unit 0, we always start the computers with 0. Here's our course learning outcomes, step-by-step, step, everything we're going to cover in this course from start to finish. These are required outcomes. I measure these outcomes in different tasks along the way. So between now and when we finish this course, each one of these outcomes will be addressed and assessed to see how efficient and how effective we were along the way. Before you start anything, please take the time to go register and take this ELO 1000 class. ELO 1000 helps you to understand this environment, the Blackboard environment, how to post the discussions, how to take exams, how to upload assignments. It's a must do. You have to go do this, and it's not just for online or hybrid. If you're inter interfacing with a system, you need to know how it works. This is how you find out how Blackboard works. So here's where you go register your MindTap. And before you begin, go check your requirements. Make sure it does what it's supposed to do. Before you start MindTap, go find out about MindTap itself. You need, you really need to watch this live virtual machine lab user guide. Read through it to know how these things work. Now, this course is aligned with the Microsoft certification exam, configuring Windows devices, it's a 70-697 exam. Um, we've got resources that I got for you. It's an MTA. You need to take this pre-course assessment. It says that it's graded in MindTap, but that's just because I'm capturing the grade. The, my, the grade is not migrated over to Blackboard, and you're not being held accountable for this assessment at the start of the course. It's just a benchmark to find out where you are at the beginning. You'll take another one at the end to find out what, what changed. So we can find out how effective we were along the way. Now, how am I being evaluated? This will let you know exactly what I expect, how I'm looking at things. Um, the syllabus shows how things are weighted, but this shows how I come up with the scores that go into those weights. Support, and they're a very important read. Here's your schedule of due dates. Open this up. Go look at when and what items are due. Every task that you have to do that has some grade associated with it is in this schedule of due dates. Okay. Now, one of the things that I have an expectation for this course, if it is an online course, and this only applies to online, you have to remain active in this course. If you are not active for a period of two weeks, I will reach out to you and say, what do we have going on here? Now, you need to communicate with me if you're not going to be around. I get it if you got, you're got you planning your own time, you're going on vacation or something. Let me know what's going on and that you haven't just gone ghost on me. 
So if you're not active for two weeks, I will reach out and say, what have we got going on here? If you don't respond to me, you don't become active again, I'll have to withdraw you from the course. Okay? It just is what it is. If you're not progressing and not doing work, even though you're checking in, but you're not doing what you need to do, actually doing the work, I'm going to reach out to you. If I see that you're not making progress and there's a high probability you're going to fail if you don't make corrective actions, we'll create a probationary plan to where let's get you where you need to be. If you're not taking steps in that plan to improve, I'll have to withdraw you from the course. All right, we've got specific goals, these outcomes. This is what I want you to do. You've paid money to take this class to get these tools in your tool belt to understand these concepts. We're in it together and I want you to do everything you need to do to get the tools in your tool belt to do what you've got to do in this course. Let's so come back and look at unit one to see what's going on here. We've got a lecture, it's a PDF file. We've got an overview, it's a PowerPoint, me talking over the PowerPoint, explaining here's what we're doing in this unit or this chapter. And unit one, intro to Windows 10. There's a preview explaining the objectives of the unit. There's a brief little video of the features, main concepts of the PowerPoint, and you read through the chapter. Here's the actual chapter itself. Now you've got two more tasks. They're not graded, but this is an exercise to help you get where you need to be. With each unit, you've got flashcards that help you with the terminology, and there's a crossword puzzle to reinforce the terminology as well. If we come back, we can scroll down and you've got graded items. You can see here you've got a quiz, discussion, and P1, meaning project one, in this first chapter. We click on it, apply one unit quiz. You'll click on that, that'll take you to the quiz. You can take it. Once you've completed it, the grade will migrate over to Blackboard. We're all good. P1, you need to use the internet to find the security advantages of using Windows 10. Report your findings. Upload the file here, it'll be graded. If you've got a hybrid or an online course, you've got discussions that are required. And here's the expectations of the discussions. For the discussions, you'll click on the discussion, something you learn in ELO 1000. Now, all too often, people, students get here that haven't done ELO 1000s. Well, what do I respond to? Now, had you taken ELO 1000, you'll know create thread. And this would come up, and it'll say, briefly describe one of the features included with any of the versions of Windows 10. Put your prompt in, or your, your main heading, the subject, and then the content. This is where your 100 words minimum would go. Okay? So, I try to keep everything straightforward to where it's, it's all streamlined, unit by unit, and come on down and we got 15 units in, or 16 units in all, when we count unit zero. And unit 15 is our final exam. We wrap everything up. All right. I'm glad you're in the course. When you've got questions, ask them early, often. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Reach out to me. Reach out to the SLC and get help there. I've got a number of resources to help you get where you need to be. Okay? So I'll see you in the course. And glad you're